Hey guys, Philly here, welcome back to another video, and today we are talking about techniques. So pretty much I'm just going to go over the basics, pretty much everything you would ever need to know about the techniques in this game. If you're a little unsure of what they do, or exactly what type of stats they give, or even how to use them, I'm going to cover it all. So, techniques are something in this game that are similar to forms, but they're not forms. So they can be used on top of forms, which makes them very, very strong. So if you come over to this guy, when you spawn in, you can do this immediately as soon as you start the game. Right, come over to this guy, Kaioken Trainer. Come over, just say, learn Kaioken. You need to equip this after you have learnt it, so it will be in your inventory. Uh, somewhere, it will say something like this. Obviously, mine is this one. It won't say potential knowledge for you, it will be just Kaioken. So, you, when you first do it, you start off with just regular Kaioken. Now, regular Kaioken gives you some pretty nifty buffs. So, it gives you, while it's being used, it gives you 4,000 HP. 400 energy, 400 damage, which is a lot, by the way. Two, 20, uh, it lasts for 20 seconds, and it has a cooldown of 60 seconds. Right? There are no requirements. You can just instantly use it. So, I'm going to throw that stat block up now, just so you guys can check that for yourself. Um, and, yeah. So, the next one after that. So, the way you progress these are pretty straightforward. So, pretty much every time you use the form, it goes up a certain percentage. Right? So, uh, the next one after that is Kaioken times 12. Now, I'm going to throw this step block up as well. This one takes 50 Technic users, so pretty much what that means is you have to go in and out of this form 50 times, and then you will unlock the next Kaioken form, right? This one gives you 8,000 HP, 900 energy, 900 damage. It lasts for 30 seconds and still has a cooldown of 60 seconds. So, still very, very good. Also, I also want to mention that in order to activate your form, you just press M like this. Uh, no issues like that. Anyway, the next one after that is Kaioken times 20. Now, Kaioken times 20 takes 100 uses, so it's double the other one. And it gives you 12,000 HP, 1,200 energy, 1,200 damage, lasts for 40 seconds, but has a cooldown of 120 seconds. So this is where you start to get into the long cooldowns. Um, which is annoying because you've got to think that if it takes, if you have to go in and out of the form uh, all the time, it can be quite annoying to um, get this because it takes so much longer uh, to get. But the next one after that is Kaioken times 100, which is the last Kaioken form. Now, this one takes 200 technique users to unlock which is quite some time. This is where it starts to get pretty difficult, you know? Um, it takes a little while, but it's still not too bad, and it will give you some pretty nifty benefits as well, so I'll throw a stat block up there, but 16,000 HP, 1,600 energy, 1,600 damage, 40 second duration, and a 120 second cooldown still. Now, this is where things become a little bit confusing. So, um, if we were to come over to this guy over here, and come into the Crimson World, pretty much what is going to happen now is you're going to switch from using Kaioken to Potential Unleashed. Potential Unleashed is a better version of it, uh, it gives way better stats, and it takes a hell of a long longer to get. So there are five locations that the Potential Unleashed trainer will spawn. It's not like Kaioken, it doesn't just appear at spawn for everyone, it sort of appears around the map in different spots. So the first spot that we're going to talk about is this spot right here. So he will spawn just out front of this little door. The second spot is over here in this little crevice right here. He'll spawn here. The third spot is all the way over here. Uh, if we come over over here, he will spawn right here. Right now, the fourth spot is sorry. That's yeah. The fourth spot is on top of here. Right and lastly is over here. He will spawn against this little rock here. Now, the way it works is, I believe he spawns, he only spawns for a certain duration, and it will always pop up down here that he's respawned or despawned. So, pretty much just when you're in this world, make sure you keep an eye out for this little, um, this little marker saying he's spawned or he's despawned. Uh, Potential Unleashed takes 500 Technique users. Um, at a cooldown of 120 seconds, it takes over 16 hours to get this form. Um, 
it's quite some time. I'm gonna throw the stat block up now, but it gives you 20,000 HP, 2,000 energy, 2,000 damage, lasts for 60 seconds, which is a lot of time, by the way, it's really good, but has a cooldown of 180 seconds, which can be quite annoying, but it is very, very strong. I do recommend you guys get it. Don't be lazy, do go and get it, it is very good. Um, it's not as hard as you guys think. Uh, I have a video on how to get it quicker. I'd recommend you guys going and watching that. It's the, probably the fastest way to get it. Um, there are definitely, uh, you, a lot of people do opt to not get it because it is so difficult, but trust me, do go get it. I recommend it. It is very strong. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about techniques. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you join my discord, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.